Hello and welcome back to Trick of the Week number 33. Can you believe it? So many already. Now the trick I'm going to show you today was handed down from generation to generation in my family. In fact, no one wanted it. And maybe you'll see why. No, seriously. There's a queen. This is a variation of the famous three-card monte they do on the streets of New York. If I turn the queen face down and mix it up like it and ask you, where is it? Can you find it? Well, duh, yes, it's easy. So maybe if I increase the odds and I take out another card, another ace, well, it's just one ace, and I mix these cards up like this, face up, it's easy to follow. If I do it face down and mix them up like this, where is the queen? Is it over there? If I place that card over there, where would you put your money now? Maybe that was a bit too fast. Is that the queen or that? Most people go it's there, but I kept the queen here. So let's increase the odds. Let's make it difficult like the real pros would do it. If I get another ace, so I've got two aces and a queen. That's it. Now I'm basically going to do something really simple. I'm going to place the queen into the center like that of the two aces. I'm going to mix them up. Tell me now, where is the queen? Oh, it's still easy. It's, it's, it's face up. It's pretty obvious. Huh? So if I place the queen over there, look very carefully. Take note of what I did. Would you put your money on the queen there? If you did, you'd make a big mistake because you see the queen is over here. So in fact, if I place an ace there and leave the queen in my hand with the ace here like this, and I just do that like that, what have I got there? What's that? No, no, you see, I've got an ace, the queen is back there. I know it's, it's, it, it's a bit whacked out, isn't it? Look, I'll make it really easy for you. The two aces, now watch carefully. So I've got two aces over here. This one on top, and then this one at the bottom. So I'm going to just turn one over the whole time. I want you to watch very carefully. All I do is that. Now suddenly there's a queen. That just doesn't make sense because that's an ace over there, and the other ace is in my pocket over here. I know. I'm going to finish up off with one last move for you. If I place the queen face down over there with the two aces, would you put money on that queen over there? You would? Well, then I'd make a lot more money out of you because there's three aces. You see, you haven't been watching properly. That's called sleight of hand. And I'm going to see you again next week for trick number 34. Cheers.